Welcome to Living Fuel TV. I'm Casey Krejci. Chew your food. Mom said chew your food. Does that really matter? Well, according to British Prime Minister William Gladstone in 1868, it seemed to matter. He taught that you should chew your food 32 times a bite. And he came up with the number 32 because there were 32 teeth in the mouth. A couple of decades later, Horace Fletcher built on this, this idea and said you should really chew your food until it was liquid. That, that you don't, if, even if you chewed it and it cannot become liquid, you were to spit it out. That was his teaching. And it was a very low fiber scenario and people did have diarrhea and such on this particular uh, method. And John Kellogg, Dr. John Kellogg, in 1900, decided, yeah, that was a good idea that Horace Fletcher had, but you got to add back fiber. So fiber was the basis of the cereals that Dr. John Kellogg started the great American cereal company, Kellogg Corporation. So this is a little history on liquefying food. So would it be better now just to switch over to a liquid diet and just have a liquid diet instead of chewing your food at all? Well, there is some benefit from that. You've seen us talk about the fuel fast often. If you haven't, I ask you to go back and check out some former shows and check out the fuel fast because it is a powerful technique, no doubt. But oftentimes people do the juice fast, for instance. They will juice vegetables and fruits and they will drink this for a period of days and sometimes a lot of days. And many people, they think this is extremely healthy. Now it can be healthy. There are many healthy aspects to it, but even the vegetables, when you take out the fiber, it's like when we talked about chewing it until it was liquefied and then spitting out what is left, that is taking the fiber out. And there's so many powerful, important things that fiber does in your system. Another major missing ingredient is protein, which we have spent weeks talking about the importance of protein. So if you're trying to do a vegetarian cleanse or a detox of some kind, either put living fuel in your in your juice or put living protein or something to where it's a full spectrum of a protein powder that will preserve your muscle mass while you're doing this now if you're not doing living fuel we suggest you also take a multivitamin along the way so an alternative to protein powders is to separately take amino acids essential amino acids but the truth is you gotta take care of the protein aspect of this so we sure hope for this is helpful to you God bless Bless you and have a great day.